Hello and welcome to another Century Snack of the Week. Today we're going to be talking about the extremely underrated HTML object element and how it can be really useful. I'm Salma from the developer relations team at Sentry. Let's do it. Recently, I was doing some research about how you can deal with images that 404 on your front end. Say you are pulling in a third party image URL that you have no control over, such as a GIF from Giphy. Or maybe you're fetching thousands of images from a CMS and someone accidentally deletes an image that you're requesting on the front end. So when this happens, how do you provide a graceful fallback on your front end to prevent your app from looking broken? So whilst there are ways to do this in JavaScript, which I talk about in the blog post linked below, I always prefer where possible to find HTML only solutions to these kinds of problems. And this is where the HTML object element comes in. It's used to represent an external resource, such as an image, a video, or a web page. Historically, it was used to embed and run plugins to display flash movies, run ActiveX controls, Java applets, and other kinds of old school web things. Today, it's a pretty perfect use case for handling links to resources that you have no control over. Plus, it has full browser support. So here's the object element. We can display an image with it by assigning the data attribute of the element to the desired resource URL. To use it to provide a fallback image, provide an HTML image element as a child of the object pointing to the URL of a suitable fallback image. For accessibility reasons, provide an ARIA label attribute on the object to describe the desired image. And this is in place of an alt attribute. Additionally, assure you specify the width and height of the image on both the element tags to avoid cumulative layout shift. And there it is, fallback images for resources that 404 with no JavaScript. Tasty.